Lined hard to center field. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. You know, it's always a danger as an outfielder when you try to make a play like this. You worry about that risk because sometimes you can get it tucked under when you hit the ground and you can twist it up pretty good or maybe even break it. But here, not only does he come away unhurt, but he also comes away with the baseball. What is going on, YouTube familia? This is your boy Harlem Gamer bringing you MLB 13, the show online league play. As you saw there, a nice little play by Diaz in center field playing against the Pirates in the same league. My opponent... Uh, who has the Pirates? Didn't want to show that video. It, wasn't, it was pretty much a blowout. I think it was a 7 nothing game. To no fault of his own because the Pirates are just not a very good team at all. Anyway, let's move on to this game. Uh, this is against my boy Bud Bowl Returns. Bud Bowl, one of my uh, my big rivals in uh, this league. He, uh, We actually go back to Madden. And uh, we always have really, really close uh, hard-fought matchups. He has the Rays, which... Uh, Funny enough, was the team I had in this league last year. This is the uh, MLB Dynasty League. Uh, you can visit them at www.mlbdynastyleague.com. Very, very good league, as I mentioned in one of my earlier videos. Anyway, Jake Peavy versus Alex Cobb uh, should be a good pitching matchup, although it would favor me with Peavy since he is the more established starter, although Alex Cobb is no walk in the park. He's actually, as you see there, has a pretty nice ERA with this guy, with uh, Alex Cobb in the league. One and one record, .60 ERA. Anyway, always uh, lead, I've always uh, start off every one of my videos with the presentation leading up to the first pitch. Just a little bit of uh, uh, custom, I guess, uh, to my videos. A little bit of a uh, trademark, I guess. Uh, to get you uh, more invested in the game, Had, you know, and, and do my my own little introduction as well. Anyway, Diaz a batting. Um, my center fielder, as you saw in that earlier video, he's actually the de facto right fielder uh, in the rosters. Uh, but I made him made him my center fielder uh, because of his speed. There you saw the fastball, fly ball to center field. We'll get that out to start the game. Anyway, as I was saying, Deaza is my de facto uh, right fielder, but I moved him to center field, moved uh, Rios to right field, who has the stronger arm and um, always works uh, better defensively when you have the strongest arm in right field. We'll explain that in a sec after this home run, this blast by Dwayne Wise with a runner on second base. Huge shot to right center field. Adios baseball. 2 nothing game. We'll jump to the ninth inning. It is a 2-1 game at this point, a one run game my uh, opponent uh, scored a run somewhere I believe it was in the bottom of the eighth inning it was a uh, a bloop single RBI uh, got a little scared there and started warming up Jesse Crane who I do have warming up in the bullpen uh, right now but I will show you this entire ninth inning um, just so you can see what kind of game it was it was a very very low scoring game although I did have end up with 11 hits I just could not get runners in it from uh, when I had runners in scoring position. I just could not get hits with runners in scoring position. So my opponent, he, uh, I guess he, he, he knew which pitches to throw after I got hits, which is a little funny, but no, nah, it's uh, it's always been a trouble of mine in this game, just scoring with runners in scoring position. I I I can't begin to count the amount of times I had bases loaded with like one or no outs even, and I could, I probably just get a run in if that. And uh, it's just very, very frustrating. I know some of you probably have gone through that yourselves. Anyway, um, just a few uh, stats here about this league. I did my research. Um, and my team, uh, Conerco always a consistent hitter. You know, through seven games, uh, I believe he's batting 329. I'm uh, sorry, three, uh, he's in the 320s. Um, but surprisingly, Ramirez, Alexei Ramirez, my shortstop, is among the league leaders in RBIs and I'm not going to say home runs. I think the league leader in home runs have, has, has four home runs. I can't remember who it is, but I know the league leader has four home runs and I have two with Ramirez and he's hitting 429, which is very, very which is great actually. I just hope that carries out, it carries into the uh, regular season once we do get that started in mid April. Uh, there you saw top of the ninth ended on that nice little grounder to first. Uh, couldn't get another insurance run in. 
So we will try to give uh, PV his complete game here. My strategy here is I'm trying not to... Um, if I get a runner on base, I will bring Crane in, have him warmed up and ready in the bullpen. Just trying to get my boy Peavy that complete game he needs, uh, whether it's a walk uh, or a single, any runner on base, I will bring in the closer. Do not want to get in a situation where um, I give up a two-run shot and it ends the game since he is the home team and we are in the bottom of the ninth. Longoria, da very dangerous hitter. We're going to try to get him out here um, with as little damage as possible. I was actually um, expecting to bring my closer after after Longoria because I just did not want to pitch him up the middle. Of course, any mistake would would have been any mistake of my own would not have been uh, good. So I tried to just uh, pitch it all around the plate. Did not want to give him anything to anything that he could square up and just hit. There you saw a nice high fastball, a little bit of a waste pitch with the one-two count. He did not bite. So uh, here with the two-two count, we're gonna try to get the uh, bottom right corner, and we get him swinging on that. Would have probably been a strike anyway. Uh, however, he does uh, ground to the pitcher for the one-three play, two outs. Bottom of the ninth, it all comes down to Luke Scott, another dangerous hitter. Lefty, righty matchup always favors the hitter, no matter who the pitcher is especially a power hitter like Luke Scott. There he gets sw swings on the 0-0 pitch. Uh, I think he, it was, a, I'm sorry, very early timing. Yeah, that's what it was. So he got the, the top of the ball there. However, next pitch, a huge shot to right center. However, will be a fly ball out to end the game. PV gets the win. Alex Cobb gets the loss. Uh, actually gets the complete I get the complete game uh, one run one runner I'm sorry with uh, PV two runs 11 hits one error one run five hits one error as you see there the line score we uh, get the nice little win here I believe this takes me this took me to six and one uh, one of the games actually was uh, it was we got disconnected and it was a tie 2-2 game so you know who knows how that would have ended up it was actually against uh, one of my division rivals the Indians uh, his uh, his uh, user is, I think, ATL Braves 8501, something like that. Uh, so I, I will try to see if we can get that game finished up uh, so we can get an actual uh, fair result as, as opposed to me getting that loss. For some reason, I got uh, booted. Don't know what happened there. Anyway, Jake Peavy, player of the game. As we mentioned, uh, five hits allowed, not that many strikeouts, six strikeouts. It was just ground ball after fly ball after ground ball in this game. It was very low scoring. Very frustrating on both sides of the ball. Anyway, guys, follow me on Twitter at Harlem Gamer. Uh, as usual, your support is much appreciated. I will be posting more videos this weekend. I have a nice little treat for you guys this weekend. A uh, nice little video, longer video, about 15 minutes long. So, plan to bring that to you uh, soon enough. Until next time, guys. Peace.